Hi friends, thanks for stopping by. Hernan here, Simply NAS West Coast. We are currently working on a project that I wanted to share with you. Uh, this is a project for a college in the state of Washington. Now, uh, they are currently running an HA environment and they needed some archival storage. So what we decided to go with was the Synology SA3400. Now, reason we are going with that system, it's powerful. It's fast and it's scalable. Now, the power comes in its CPU. It has an Intel eight core Xeon processor, okay? Now, uh, it's scalable. Uh, its RAM is scalable to 128 gigs. So uh, we are gonna need that RAM power. And it's scalable to 1.5 petabytes, okay? And that's from one NAS system. It's, it's scalable, so that's great. So what we decided to go with was the Exos drives. As you know from Seagate Technologies, it's a great drive. Uh, it always comes uh, through uh, for us and for our customers, a highly rated, and um, that's what we use here when we're building this particular system as well. So we are gonna soup it up as well, the RAM. We're gonna be using uh, these RAM modules to, uh, to beef up this system for our friends over at the college. So um, we're gonna walk you through all this. So stay tuned, check this out. We're gonna open it up and put all this stuff together and then uh, check out the results at the end. All right, check this out. All right, so let's take a look at the back of our Synology, starting with the dual power ports on the left-hand side. Then it's our COM port, and beneath that is our four landlines and our 10 gigabit Ethernet connections and the two USB connectors. And right here are two uh, PCIe slots, and next to that is our SAS port. This is used uh, to expand the system to other expansion chassis. Okay, now what we're going to do is get our drives into the system and start the rating process. Now, we've already installed our drives into the trays and they are ready to go. Our NAS systems are ready to go as well. Now, we're going to install the drives one at a time into the NAS system. Again, there's 12 drives and they're 14 terabytes each. Now, we are going to do a RAID 6 configuration. Okay, and it might take some time again. This is large capacity uh, drives and a large capacity array, so it will take some time. Now here you can hear the system humming, it's rating. It's gonna take in it about 14 hours for 168 terabytes. So far, uh, let's take a peek at our console and find out exactly where we are at. We're at about 94.6%. So we still have some time to go, obviously a couple of hours. So let's let that finish up. We're gonna move on to installing the RAM. So before we do that, I'd like to go over some of the hardware. So now that, they, uh, that we're gonna open up the system, we can take a peek inside. So let's take advantage of that. Let's get this thing open and talk about some of its hardware. Here we can see our, um, our CPU. It is an Intel Xeon D1541, eight cores, 2.1 gig. Now, up here are our fans. There's actually four modulized fans, and what it does is it actually funnels the air right into the CPU, which keeps the system nice and cool. Now, let's get our RAM in. So what we're gonna do is get ready to install our RAM. Now that our RAM is installed, let's go and take a look at our console to make sure that the RAM has been installed properly and that everything is running nice and smooth. And as we can see here, 96 gigs, our RAM is looking great. Everything is looking really good. Everything's in green. The CPU is healthy. The RAM is healthy. And the storage itself, the data storage in the hard drives is healthy and ready to go. Okay, now, while I clean the system, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about some of the other things that we do behind the scenes. For example, we test all of the interfaces. So the interface that we spoke about, the USB 3.0, 
the gigabit connections and the 10 gigabit ethernet connections have all been tested okay they've all passed with flying colors okay so not only that but in the span of 48 hours we flushed the system with data okay so terabytes and terabytes of data and folders and files have been transferred into the NAS system and into the drives okay and taken out Okay, it's been brought in, taken out, as well as the integrity of the data has been tested inside of the NAS system to make sure that the data transfer has been accurate and that the information has been transferred properly. So rest assured that these systems have passed our quality assurance tests. So we are gonna clean them and package them up. So friends, there you have it. Um, the Synology system, it's ready to go. Uh, we saw the RAID configuration, we see the inside, uh, we saw the outside. It's souped up, ready to go, fully configured, and um, we're just getting done cleaning it up. Uh, we're gonna package it up and ship it over to our friends over at the state of Washington. So if you guys have any questions uh, regarding uh, this project or regarding your project, Feel free to reach out to us. Again, uh, these systems, uh, we can configure them for you, uh, get them uh, to your specifications, to your specific needs. All right, so reach out to us. Again, uh, leave any comments, uh, questions below, or reach us at sales at simplynas.com. Again, my name is Hernan from Simply NAS here in the West Coast. Hope everyone is doing fantastic. Thank you.